Two. Today is March 27th, and it's 4.02. Um, what I usually do is I'll like look at my old video, and I'll listen to it, and see what I talked about. But today was like a special video, because I had my first um, interview, like official interview for a company. And yeah, that's all I want to talk about today. So how did I... How do I think? Well, let's talk about how I got there. So the App Academy has like a Facebook alumni page and it, they have people that like post job openings for their company. And that's like the easiest way, easiest way to get a, a job opportunity. And then so I emailed a guy. He emailed me back and I sent a resume in. And like the day after I got like uh, um a phone interview opportunity or appointment and I just had that and <clears throat> it wasn't really like a phone interview it was basically like a technical interview I thought it was just gonna be a phone interview but I ended up downloading like this video chat and then we ended up pair programming together and it, I think it went pretty well it was uh, the, the position was Ruby on Rails backend with like um, JavaScript JavaScript front end but I'm assuming that's like React, Redux. They weren't too specific. But they were really specific on the Ruby on Rails aspect. What happened? So I gave my pitch at first. He asked me about that. He asked me about a couple of my projects. I think that was the part I did pretty bad in. Like, I was explaining what some of the challenges were. <laughs> I didn't know what the heck I was talking about. So I was like getting kind of nervous. But then we went to the pair programming, and that's when I... Really, I think I did better because I did a lot of communicating and then I did like when I was confused, I let him know I was confused. And so I think that went really well. We did like two Ruby problems, object oriented programming problems. Not too difficult. I thought they were going to be like way harder. Um, and then what did we do? So we did two technical problems and then he just asked me like a couple like. Uh, questions about myself and about like what company I'm, I'm looking for or what I plan to do with a company that I I choose to go to um, yeah so let's let's see how it goes I feel pretty good about it because we were able to like talk and get to know each other at the end and I think um, my uh, how I was able to like relate to him went really well I was able to like really um get to know him i was i was i was nervous super nervous i was like studying rails and all that but it wasn't too bad of an, an interview but i know interviews could be like way harder so i'm pretty thankful for that and i just need to study more need to be more confident in my skills but we'll see what happens um got our first interview though and if it does go to like an actual um, interview in their headquarters, that's when it gets like really real. Because I, I researched what uh, how the process is. It's like a four-hour process. You meet like four different people. I don't know, but that's if I even get the opportunity to, to do that. So we'll see how it goes. What did I do? Well, aside from that, what did I do? Well, first off, I mean, like, yeah. I got my first interview, so claps to me, claps to me, but, um, I forgot what the last video was, but from then and now, I did my 150 application that I just finished yesterday, so I don't have to go to class anymore to, to apply for jobs, um, hmm. yeah, I... I don't know what to do. I mean, obviously I know what to do, but like, it's a weird transitioning. Like, oh, I was always going to class, always going to class. And now it's like, I don't have to go to class anymore. Like the, all this crazy stress is actually done. And now it's like the job search. And I just had my official, first official interview. Like this is getting like really real. I'm thankful, thankful to God for like me passing all the tests, staying dedicated, staying determined. Obviously, I don't have, like, I'm not at the finish line, I don't have a job, but, man, I'm getting close, so, we'll see what happens, you know? 
Oh, my screen's... Okay. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I'm really excited. I was so nervous. I was like really nervous. I really want to get a job already. I'm honestly like already committed to, like I already have the mindset like, man, I'm probably going to go like tons of months, you know, not getting a job. But if I was to get a job like this quick, man... I don't, know how that, I don't know how that would have been possible, but I'll take it. So he'll respond to me hopefully by tomorrow, and then I'll update you guys. But I'm just going to keep practicing, keep um, working on my – I need to work on my, my Instagram clone project, Feline Fix. That's probably, like, my worst one out of all three of my, three of my projects. I'm going to do that, keep applying, keep – uh, whiteboarding and the networking part I don't know how I'm gonna do that like if I want to drive all the way to SF just to do like a meetup we'll see so aside from that I feel great it's like perfect weather outside it's spring in Stockton California let's see see that that's pure uh, you can smell the all the um, pollen. I'm not sneezing yet, but it's coming. I know it. But that's what I'll leave you guys with, and I hope everybody's doing great. Thank you for watching my videos. The few people that I do, I appreciate the support. And yeah, if anybody's on a journey like us, trying to be a software developer, I'm proof that it's possible. Coming from like a completely different background, you just have to stay uh, determined, and you have to. Uh, be humble and be open to learning so yeah alright see you guys next video